deep and humility. All right. And the next thing they ask you about is voodoo. Okay. Or voodoo, like we call it in Vashville, Louisiana. Vashville, Louisiana. My home town. All right. When somebody's been hoodoo, the old folks say they've been sick. Yep. And if the old folks say something, you better heed a warning. Because the powder that fueled the hoodoo spell was held by an old, dark, black, wrinkled face lady with a faded diaper tied around her head. There you go. I remember this one time, I was about 13 years old when me and my buddies caught Mr. Two Chow Thompson's wife, Mrs. Lufaz. That's what we call her. Uh, too fast because uh, it's just blood like jelly. <laughs> this loose ass was buck naked, <laughs> which surprised the fuck out of me. All right. And to me, he was buck naked too. That surprised the fuck out of me even more. Because right. I didn't think he'd take off them yellow rubber hip boots for all the pussy in China. <laughs> The truth ass had him hollering like he had so sock it to me, baby. We sock it to him, all right. We played pig on that crack of pigs. The next day, to me, poor dirty engine oil in his running ditch he was swimming in. Right. Drove us to the river, showed up. And by the only thing worse than being hoodoo and bachelor, it's not heathen that a voodoo woman says. Gotcha. And every year that old wrinkle faced woman says, sure that that river rise, when it go down, it could take somebody down with it. Of course, we knew the banjo of the mighty Mississippi River, but we were good swimmers. And besides that, the closest public pool for colored boys was 52 miles away. Uh-huh. That would be in New Orleans, uh-huh. which brings me to our friend Bobby Green, who was from New Orleans. Uh-huh. See, Bobby could swim too. Yep. But he was using them swimming pools in the city, and he wasn't aware of the waves of the wild Mississippi River. Uh-huh. And when he went out a little too far that day, the first thing came into my mind was that hoodoo woman saying about drowning. Uh-huh. If they go under three times, it ain't coming up no more. Uh-huh. Bobby went under three times. Okay. Of oh, course, we all felt like it was the beans' fault that Bobby had drowned. Uh-huh. But it wasn't shit we could do about it. Uh-huh. At least that's what I thought. Uh-huh. Until I saw Chang coming towards me on the river road. They say Chang was crazy, and you couldn't believe a word he said. Uh, so everybody in back is told Chang did keep dark secret. Chang walked around faster and collected more confessions than the Pope. Uh-huh. Well, come to find out, who do it had shit to do with two guys' life? Uh-huh. Chen said the hoodoo woman told him that Miss Lucia was feeding two jobs out Peter in his pool. Mm-hmm. I said, huh? He said, South Peter, little fella. So that's the same powder he gets to the mules to keep their mind off of puppies. So if the mules think about puppies all the time, they won't work. Mm-hmm. Then they go for two jobs. I said, what? Why she pick old mean ass and beans and fuck over two jobs, please? He said, money. I said, what? Why she need so much money with two jobs working hard like two mules? He said, because of the powder. I said, hold up here a minute, Shane. First you tell me that the powder that was supposed to be the powder ain't the powder. Now you tell me it's because of the powder. What kind of who do you do? He says the powder she needs comes from the ashes of hell. It's called 
cocaine, little man. Ooh. Never forget the last time I saw Miss Luzad Thompson. She was standing on the river bank watching the bath symptoms. Uh-huh. The weather was warm and windy, and the whole dressed up town stood in knee high clovers singing, Take me to the water. Take me to the water. Miss Lucas looked down the river where two jobs was tying up the ferry boat on the second job. And a little ways past that, where the sea was circling in the river and it was well pleased to do. And the thought of doing a good man wrong for so long took her to her knees. She said, oh, Lord, I am a poor helpless living sinner who's begging for forgiveness in Jesus' name. If you only pardon and forgive me for my sins, I'll serve you a balance of my days. And it's a good thing she prayed that prayer because her life account was down to zero balance. A big old steamship cam rolling down the river, and it caused the two story highway to flip. The canoe over next to me was pressing the river in. He wrapped his arm around and humongous burn, and he grabbed her, and the waves took him to the deep part of the river. They went on the one side. They went on the two times. Mr. Green must have tapped that ass one last time. Right. But the yellow rub bar popped up above the wall. Right. Thank you, Brian. All right. Okay. All right.